Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of IELTS Reading. Today we are going to do short answer questions. Now short answer questions is one of the most common type of questions in both IELTS reading and listening section. So let's try to see what these questions are like. Now it usually comes with an instruction like this. Write no more than three words and or a number for each answer. So the questions are given and based on what you read or what you listen to in the listening section you must answer within three words or using a number and in addition to that you should note that three words and a combination of number is also allowed now the questions might also ask for two answers like this in this case for each of the questions given, number 2 and number 3, you can use 3 words. So number 4 and number 5, you can use 3 words. So make sure you read the instruction carefully before you start. So, Kim is going to Korea next week to sign the contract. He wants to finalize everything before he returns to the United States in June. He is going to develop his country through effective economic policies. So let's see how to answer this question. Where is Kim going next week? So from here we can see that Kim is going to Korea next week. So we will just write down simply Korea as the answer. Now you must make sure that you answer within two words or a number. Do not exceed the word limit or do not write sentences. Now the next question is when is Kim going to return to United States? Now let's see, he wants to finalize everything before he returns to the United States in June. So he's going to return to the United States in the month of June. Now since they have asked you the timing and you know that June is the month when he is going to return, simply write down June. Now even if you don't write in, they are still going to give it correct. However, in some cases it's better to understand the correct use of prepositions. So even if you write without in, it will be correct. And it if you write within, it's still going to be correct. Next, question number three. How is Kim going to develop the country? Well, you can see that in the last sentence, he is, uh, it's written here that he is going to develop his country through effective economic policies. So he is going to use economic policies in order to develop the country. So thank you for listening to me. I hope you liked that video. I'm going to make more videos on IELTS reading listening, writing and speaking so please subscribe to my channel